You're tuning into Black and White Sports on YouTube. The no holds barred truth on sports. The main event starts now. All right, Black and White Sports supporters, we're going to talk about Brittany Griner. The other day, she was on with Robin Roberts on GMA, and she made some comments about her time locked up in Russia. From that came, of course, the uh, the news that she said she was very suicidal. Now, keep in mind, Brittany Griner chose to take cannabis oil into a country like Russia where it is extremely illegal. I believe while we were covering that in 2022, I can remember Vladimir Putin, Putin coming out and saying, uh, essentially to him, marijuana was as bad as like things like crack cocaine and heroin. Now, I know that may seem ridiculous to us, but the thing I kept saying was, you got to remember, these are not United States laws. You are in another country. They look at things extremely differently than we do. Now, the thought process that entire time was that Marine Paul Whelan, who had been locked up much longer than Brittany Griner, if there was some kind of deal worked out to get Griner home, the Marine Paul Whelan was going to be brought back as part of any kind of exchange or a deal from Biden. And then about a month before the transaction for notorious arms dealer Victor Bout took place, I, start, I started telling viewers of Black and White Sports that I had the worst feeling in the world that Paul Whelan was going to get left behind by Biden. That's exactly what happened. I mean, look, we talk about terrible sports trades. Well, trading a basketball player for the most dangerous arms dealer in the history of the planet probably wasn't the best national security uh, transaction to have made. Brittany Griner does come out and make some comments here. Now, Griner, according to her, much like us, and I don't know if she had been told this or not, she thought Paul Whelan was part of this deal. At least that's what she's saying. Because I'm sure she's taken some shrapnel, some collateral damage over the blowback that Paul Whelan did not come back with her. Brittany Griner thought she'd be returning to the United States with fellow Russian captive and U.S. Marine Paul Whelan when she was traded in a controversial prisoner swap for arms dealer Victor Bout in 2022, ABC's Robin Roberts revealed on Tuesday. In giving a first look at the upcoming GMA interview, Roberts told her co-anchors, the WNBA star does address the trade that free her, freed her after 10 months of captivity in Russia following her drug arrest in Moscow in February of 2022. Quote, she said she got on a plane thinking Paul Whelan was going to be on that plane too. Okay. Roberts told her co-host while discussing Griner's organization aimed helping other imprisoned American overseas. It's called bringing our families home to help with the effort to free other detainees. The interview will air on March 1 as Griner prepares for her second WNBA season since her release. The 6'9", 33-year-old center returned to the league last year to earn her ninth All-Star nod for the Phoenix Mercury. She and her partner Cheryl recently revealed they're expecting a baby 16 months after she was exchanged for Bout in a 101 deal at an airport in Abu Dhabi. Griner had been sentenced to nine years in Russian prison after being caught with cannabis oil cartridges while returning to Russia to resume playing for her European team. Keep in mind, she had been going there for years. There was no way, no way, she was not aware, fully aware that cannabis oil and anything of the like was highly illegal over there. And as she revealed to Roberts, Griner's first thought upon being arrested amid the growing Ukrainian-Russian conflict was, my life is over right here. Well, there she is, teared up. Yep, there's Paul Whelan right there, folks. I was just so scared, she told Roberts, there was so much I didn't know. Griner ultimately was sent to the town of Yavis on 
Mordova's a region known for its prison camps. And guys, we did some videos on some behind the scenes looks of these prison camps, and they were hell on earth. But again, they're prison camps in Russia. Hers, it turned out to be one of the worst. Griner described seeing a huge knife on the table at a prison camp and thinking, I was just like, no, this is going to be a ride. Do what to do what you gotta do to survive. Conditions said were less she said were less than human. Oh God. Menstrual stra- stains, oh God, on mattresses as well as the absence of any soap or toilet paper were just some of the indignities she faced. That all came to an end in December of 2022 when she was freed for a one-on-one swap that has since been criticized for the failure to return Whelan. It got destroyed for two days, for 48 hours after that transaction. Paul Whelan trended because he did not come home. And it seems like Joe Biden has just completely forgot about him. It's unbelievable. I hope Trump immediately gets him out. The U.S. Marine in prison on espionage charges in 2018. Griner and Bout cross paths on the tarmac in the United Arab Emirates to complete the trade Bout referred to by some as the Merchant of Death was arrested on terrorism charges in 2008 and later convicted. Yeah, there he is right there. Guys, by the way, I think he's getting involved with politics in Russia. (laughs) God. The deal drew criticism from Republicans who were upset that the White House failed to get Whelan as well. Not only that, but the idea that they made the trade to begin with for that, that dude. That dangerous dude. Oh, but he promised to retire from weapons dealing. Unbelievable. Look. Uh, look. Biden was going to save Griner because he had the woke trifecta. Woman, lesbian, black. She was coming home. She was going to come home. All right? Because politically for him, that was a huge win. In response to the attacks from the right, the White House officials acknowledged prisoner swaps are costly, adding that they felt compelled to bring Griner home while they had the chance. Whelan's brother said in 2022 that he feared his brother will never be returned. Well, it's 2024, and he's not back yet. Guys, That's it. we're going on two years now. Although he stressed he supported the Biden administration's deal to bring Griner home. Well, look, here was the deal, supposedly anyway. They were saying Blinken, and I mean, he's worthless, but you get the point. He was claiming it was either for Griner or there was no deal at all, period. But how are we supposed to really know that? And we don't, right? We're just left back to believe whatever. But we knew one way or another. Look, Putin. Oh, I can score a basketball player. Oh, she checks all of America's woke boxes. Right now, and he's very aware of what's going on in this country socially. Okay, Putin's aware of that. He realized, I've got a chip I can play. If I nab her, I can get something back. And he did. A notorious weapons dealer. And Paul Whelan is still rotting in a Russian prison as we speak. Who knows if we're ever going to get him back. It's, It's repugnant. It really is. It truly is. You know, I can give Griner this much credit. At least she created an organization trying to get people back home. But she also knew what she was doing when she broke the law. Again, whether you agree with Russia's laws or not, it's still their laws, not your laws. Uh, I can't stress that enough. Peace. I'm out. Till next time. Thanks for watching the show. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Be sure to tune in next time on Black and White Sports.